Russia is hybrid war. It's not the war we know from the past. But what is it exactly? The hacked emails of Putin's top advisor, Vladislav Surkov, and his assistant in all Ardzimba give us some clues. The goal is the same. Force another state to do your will, but by cunning, not brute force. Change your opponent's view of the world, and he will make self-defeating decisions all by himself. This is a Soviet technique called reflexive control. And for Russia, Ukraine's defeat is refusing the EU and NATO course and falling back into Russia's sphere of influence. The Surkov leaks show how Russia tried to trick Ukraine into exactly that. Russia occupied Crimea in 2014, but their plan to break off half of Ukraine failed. So Russia propped up two puppet republics in eastern Ukraine, besides troops and weapons, with money and political appointments. Just like it did in Georgia. To have more chances to interfere in Ukraine's affairs and block its EU and NATO course. Surkov fabricated a movement to federalize Ukraine and give its regions a special status in the Constitution. And this was all portrayed as a progressive European thing to do. Russia bribed Ukrainian politicians, organized rallies and front groups, paid for posters and even chairs. But in Bessarabia, the Kremlin tried to create an alternative center of power. The detailed plan was made by a KGB operative from nearby Transnistria. By paying activist groups to protest in support of pro-Russian narratives, the Kremlin stoked up hatred for Ukraine's post-Euromedan government and its EU and NATO course. By burning buses and bombing offices of anti-Russian hardliners and creating conflicts between ethnicities and ideological groups, it brewed chaos. To influence Ukrainian politics, the Kremlin funded an election campaign of a newly created party in Kharkiv, bribed Ukrainian politicians to make decisions in Russia's interests, and collaborated with the pro-Russian opposition bloc party. Surkov relied on Ukrainian collaborators who knew what made Ukrainians tick. Russian think tanks helped him study Ukrainians and their weak spots in great detail. These activities had an ultimate goal, to create a simulacrum, or virtual reality. To help achieve the goal, the Kremlin bribed the media to cover pro-Russian events and tried to take over media companies. A network of influencers spread identical Russian propaganda messages simultaneously. The simulacrum of support for pro-Russian activity, separatism, and chaos altered Ukraine's view of the world and decreased their will to fight for independence. And that is how Russia fights the hybrid war against Ukraine. <laughs>